Uh, Gustav, can you uh, sort of, I don't want you to recap what happened in the last match, but how are you guys looking going forward into this moment in Chicago, especially considering the hour, everybody's going to talk about the time of day and all that, but just tell me how you guys are feeling right now. Um, I mean, yeah, it's a challenging game, especially because we're playing 9.20 in the morning. Um, it's going to be a hot day. It's going to be humid. Uh, um, I think it's to our, our advantage that we have one game in our legs, even though um, we are a bit tired right now, but, but we have one game. Uh, and they have not, uh, which I think it's, is to our advantage. I, um, we saw and we felt during our last game that we have a couple of things that we have to work on. Um, and hopefully we can fix that for, for our next game. Thanks, Gustav. Next question. Go ahead, guys. You don't need us to call on you here, so just bring yourself off mute and ask your question. Hey, Gustav, what would you say some of those things are? Uh, I know a couple of guys like Christian and uh, uh, Nico had some chances, just could not finish. Um, not not sure whether that was because of the fatigue factor or not, but what do you think some of the things you guys got to work on going into Chicago? Sorry, can you repeat that? My, my Wi-Fi here is... Yeah, I just you mentioned some of the things you need to work on. I'm just curious what those might be because I yeah. know there were some chances you couldn't finish um, that you that you probably could, you know, next time around. I mean, yeah, there's... Uh, I mean, you always have chances and sometimes you miss them. Sometimes you, you score. Uh, that's, that's more uh, the quality and, and more, um, you know... Um, confidence thing uh, that what i what i meant is our tactics what i meant is keeping the ball in the team making sure we find triangles find solutions to to get out their uh, the high pressure and and um, be more confident with the ball um and again that's kind of things that you can't really train on you have to play games to um uh, build that confidence um and that's why i think that now with that we have that game in our legs that, that we know that we you know that rust is is out that four months of no game it's 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 gone um and now it's just confidence and and build the team again uh, and make sure yeah we we play a little bit better but but um most important that we uh, win win Hey, Gustav what, do you, Gustav, what do you remember from playing uh, Chicago there at the start of the season, and what, what kind of things do you expect them to throw at you tomorrow? Uh, uh, you mean Chicago or us? Uh, well, both sides. So, so what you guys try to do against them and then what they try to do against you. It's impossible to hear what you guys are saying. I hear every second word. Um, I mean, I'm can answer uh, what what I what I think next, tomorrow is will be. I mean, the game is going to be like I said. It's a, a morning game. It's it's going to be very hot. Uh, I think they will come out with very fresh legs because they haven't had that game we had. Um, so I think it will be very like, very strong, like very hard first couple of game minutes of the game um but i think when that will settle down i think we can build more momentum in the game and hopefully we can we can with with our experience from last game we can you know we can um, make sure we uh, control the game better hey gustav i'm gonna ask the question and repeat the word a couple of times how important is finishing 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 I don't know if you... how important is finishing in this game. I mean, <laughs> if I heard your question right, is how is important how finishing is important? And yes, it is. Uh, I mean, every part of the game is very important, and now when the humidity and the heat is is 
not what we're used to. Uh, it's a lot hotter and it's a lot more humidity. Uh, every part of the game is much more important. Um, every pass is important. Every tactical decision is important. Every position is important. Uh, and finishing is, is one of those things that, you know, either when you take a finish, make sure that you score or uh, at least try to hit target or, or, you know, get a corner out of it or something so they can't do counterattacks because that's what, what, what um, drowns your, your energy is, is doing negative runs, um, especially in, in counterattacks. It's, it's what, you know, where you take you all your energy and hopefully if we can minimize those counterattack, I think we can put more energy on our attack. Hey, Gustav, this is uh, Femi Abebefe over at Como. How much of an advantage is it that you guys have played a match, you have a match under your belt versus Chicago, who's coming in and had their match postponed until now? Is it In terms of knocking off the rust, is that a big advantage for you guys for tomorrow? I mean, I hope so. Um, like I said, they will come out with fresh legs. We, we have a game just a couple of days ago. Um, and it wasn't, it was a, it was a, how can I say, it was a hard game for us to play because of, you know, we hadn't played a game in four months. Um, it was a humidity that we're not used to. Uh, but now that we have played that game, I think it is to our advantage that we, we learned our, about our mistakes. We learned about to deal with the humidity. We learned how to deal with the, the pace of the game. And uh, like I said, to, to try to build your confidence in the game. Because um, again, that's that's something you can't really train on. It's it's very different to train and to play games. Um, and having a game under our belt is, is hopefully going to be very important for us. That we can control the game better. We can we can control the you know the humidity and the heat um, and can control the tempo of the game. Gustav, can you hear me? Yeah, somewhat, yeah. Uh, can you just give us your opinion on the 9 a.m. Uh, uh, starts? They seem to have, uh, in particular, sapped the energy out of teams. Um, just your thoughts on having to play uh, at that time and, you know, should they kind of reschedule those games if it's possible? Um, I mean, I understand why you're playing those games. Because there is only in the mornings or evening games you can play. Because otherwise it's too warm to play. Um, we had a training today at 9 a.m. It is it is hard. It's, it's going to be very hard. Uh, but again, that's, it's the same for both teams. Um, so you just have to man up and, you know, just deal with it. It's It's... If you think about it, if you talk about it too much, I think it becomes a problem. Um, it's it's uh, this thing is a, a tournament, and and um, what's important in this tournament is mental strength. And I think that if we can overcome that, I, I think we have a big chance of winning this. Other questions for Gustav, guys? Go ahead before we cut them loose. And thanks again for. Bearing with us on the technical challenges. Yeah, Gustav, uh, I just wanted to ask you real quick. Uh, has your thinking as far as this tournament changed at all? Do you still feel uh, confident in in going forward? Have you given it much thought um, as far as the safety aspects of it go? Or uh, has being down there changed some of your thinking? Um, I mean, it is it is difficult. Uh, we are we are doing what we are supposed to do, and and um, we are doing fine because all the tests comes back negative for us. Um, so we are we are in our bubble in 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 our floor. We feel very safe. Um, I mean, it's it is what it is. It's it's difficult everywhere in the world. I I think it's impossible to to uh, be 100 percent sure but we're doing what we're supposed to do and we are fine and and like i said we feel safe 
um, being around each other. And that's what's most important right now. What time is bedtime, Gustav, tonight? Coach just came in here, so I got to say 9.30. <laughs> Har, did you have a question? I see you raise your hand. Go ahead. You bring yourself off mute. Hi, guys. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us today. Um, I was wondering how much attention, if all, do you pay to what's happening with the other teams in your group? I know San Jose and Vancouver have an important match, and no one scored yet. So who do you think is the favorite, and do you keep an eye on the other teams? Thank you. Um, I don't know who's the favorite. Uh, I mean, I think San Jose is how they play is very difficult to play against. Um, but again, the heat might be a difficult part for them to play the way they play. Um, so it, it's it's hard to say who's the favorite. I I would like to, to for like for us to be the favorites, and I think we are in our group. Um, and we've played against San Jose, which, in my point of view, is the, the most difficult team, especially because the way they play. Brian Gustav just told us bedtime was nine thirty. Uh, the obvious, uh, he said it with a wink. The obvious question is, how are your, how is your team adjusting to this change? Well, we've had trainings at nine in the morning the last couple of days. <clears throat> we've had to get up early this morning to do another round of testing, starting at seven seven fifteen. Uh, the bus is going to leave tomorrow at seven thirty. So hopefully their body clocks will be used to that. Um, we have given them uh, different ideas, things, sleep aids, nothing, nothing illegal or anything like that. But, you know, sounds, yoga, uh, you know, Jake Bronowski, one of our trainers is a is a yoga guy. And so he's teaching them uh, techniques, how to shut your body down. So we are pulling out all the stops to get them to be, uh, you know, in a, in a good physical state tomorrow. Hey, Coach, what do you remember about what Chicago brought to CenturyLink at the start of the year? Uh, what Richie's is his what he tries to do on the field, uh, and does it play any bearing with them bringing a little bit of a different team to Orlando with players that they didn't have available back at the start of March? Uh, why don't you turn get, get on the call just with your phone? Did this the other day and get on your call with the phone, just and no video on your phone, and maybe I can hear the questions better. Uh, that one was a no go, no fly zone because I couldn't hear the question. I must, I thought you were asking me about Chicago, uh, yeah, with different players. Is that correct? Yeah, and just if, if how they played in March has any bearing on how they'll play tomorrow, no, I think you're going to see a different team, you know. We, we actually uh, scouted Jimenez, one of their players that they signed uh, down in Argentina this winter, and he is a tremendous player. You know, they they have a good squad. Now, you would say that cohesion is certainly a vital part of a team sport, and they ha have they had their players are full complement of players long enough to find any cohesion. You know, you balance that with the energy enthusiasm of this is their first game. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what we get, or we'll see what we come up against, I should say. Hey, Brian, uh, possession is important. Defense is important, but how important is it for the team in terms of execution and getting on the board, um, leading, yeah. Ma, say that one more time. Uh, just how important finishing is in this game. Oh. Okay. 
Well, obviously, it's very finishing. It, it finishing is very important in our sport because you don't score goals, you don't win games. <clears throat> so what I would say is, you know, look, we created we created two really clear chances in the game. And normally in a in a game, and you, you, you if you guys have been watching, if you've been paying attention to some of these games, it's you know the games aren't quite in midseason form. It is hot down here, so the team that scores first, the team that scores early, somehow finds a way to kind of hang on. I mean, there's a lot of benefit into making sure that you are very clinical with the few chances that you might be creating. So, uh, you know, Raul doesn't miss that very, very often. You know, Christian one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, I'd bet on him, you know, nine out of ten times. Uh, those were our two clear chances. And then we had a bunch of half chances that maybe a little sharper, a little, little better. We could have done a little bit more. You know, I thought knew whose first few forays down the left hand side were going to get us something. Uh, but, you know, finishing, scoring goals, attacking movements are always the last thing that uh, that you get cohesive, you know, when you start a season. Hey, Brian, this is Femi from Como. Uh, there was a lot of talk about rust after uh, Friday's match. I mean, is there anything you've seen in training that leads you to believe that some of that rust is starting to wear off heading into to tomorrow's contest? Not necessarily in training because training has been very light because of the 9 o'clock p.m. and then the 9 o'clock a.m. start times. That's a, you know, that's a full day less of recovery time. So most of the recovery has been just on the physical side of things you know we did some passing exercises some patterns and you know stuff like that trying to get them in front of goal but uh that's that's going to be just by playing some games this will be our second game you know again i'm hoping that the game schedules coming fast uh will we'll just get them in some sort of rhythm uh, because the training we've done here because of the heat, uh, you know, hasn't been that much. Uh, Brian, Gustav seemed to suggest that, or didn't seem to suggest, he, he said Hi, he thought that it was a bigger uh, advantage for you to have gotten your first game out of the way than it was a disadvantage to be on such short rest. Uh, how do you fall in that uh, calculus? So he said, advantage to get our first game under our belts and disadvantage that we have to play so quickly. Was that the question? Yeah, basically. Like what? Like, yeah, exactly. Like, how do you figure those two things balance out? Well, he's correct in saying that San Jose is the one team in our league that creates a specific set of challenges. So in that sense, he is correct. I mean, starting with San Jose was going to be tough. You know, anytime you play San Jose is going to be tough. Um, you know, I would think that, that we have a little bit of a, you know, challenge in Chicago because, look, again, they, they're they going to have a little bit of revenge on their mind. I'm sure the coach is saying, you know, look, we only lost two to one. It was a last minute corner kick. I mean, maybe we should have got some points when we were in Seattle. Now we have our new players. You know, we, we I mean, he'll use whatever tricks he can to get his team motivated. So, you know, the short rest maybe helps them. But you know, I, I, I'm very confident that our team has always had the mental discipline and, and has been strong enough in adverse situations to, you know, to pull out points, you know, to, to, to win games, come back from behind. I mean, you guys saw today, you know, Toronto and D.C. I mean, these games down here could go any direction. Coach, I sent a question to you uh, um, in the chat, but I'll ask it if you can hear me. Um, can you give us your thoughts on how the 9 a.m. games may affect the team performance versus the evening games? 
Um, is there much of a difference between a 9 a.m. start and, say, an 11 a.m. start or a noon start? And should the league be uh, moving? There is a, there's a, Mickey, there's a big difference between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Because it's already cooking at 10 o'clock in the morning, 10.30 in the morning, 11 o'clock by the time you finish. I mean, that D.C. and Toronto game finished around 11. Uh, I, I I can't see starting games, you know, at 11 in the morning. I mean, that, that'd be tough. That would be really tough. Now, you could counter that by saying around the world because of TV, you know, stuff like that. MLS, we've played games at one in the afternoon in, you know, in Texas, Houston, or, you know, Sporting KC, stuff like that. So games are possible, but they're certainly not ideal. Other questions, guys? Um, I'll follow up with just a, a, a injury question. Uh, can you give us a status update on uh, Joe Paolo, who uh, you know wasn't featured in the last game? Uh, probably won't feature in this game either. Uh, TBD for Vancouver. 